Welcome to the Glass Vice Direct Fix installation video. Measure the required length to be fenced. Run a chalk line. Chalk a string line end to end. Mark out your glass panel sizes as per Glass Vice specifications. Come in 300mm on the glass panel ends and mark your vice spacings. Two vices per six foot panel. Always laser level concrete to check for any dips. We can fix this with our stainless steel packers. Mark holes at 57mm centres. Using a 20mm diameter diamond core drill bit, core holes 10mm deep and remove the two cores. Then, using an 18mm diameter masonry bit, drill approximately 95mm deep or as per specification. Clean holes thoroughly. Use a 20mm diameter steel wire bottle brush followed by a blowout pump to clean out the holes. Note, the centre of the closest threaded rod must be no less than 50mm from the edge of the concrete slab. The vise is affixed with two times M10 rods into the substrate. The M10 rods are adhered with high-performance Hilti RE500 epoxy resin. Fill each hole three quarters full. Epoxy must cure for approximately 20 hours. As such, it is recommended that a frameless glass installation take place over two days. Plumb and level each vise immediately after inserting into epoxy. A builder's square is ideal for this step. The clamp must be square to the chalk or string line and levelled on both sides. Allow a 1 to 2 mm gap at the top. This is because the jaws of the vise are flared outwards. If not plumb, packers can be used at base of vise for slight adjustment. Packers are temporary and can be removed once epoxy has set. When top fixing to timber, the glass vise clamps are fitted with the American base plate, allowing four points of penetration into the timber with countersunk coach screws. Glass and adjusting. Once glass is inserted into vise, start with the two middle grub screws. With a person either side, wind in grub screws. The glass will become more upright. The main thing to look for is that there is a gap between the vise and the glass. That is, the glass is not touching the vise. Once the gap is achieved, insert Allen key and tighten firmly. It is important that two people tighten at the same time. Repeat this operation on the top two grub screws. The top grub screws allow up to four inches of adjustability. Tighten either side to move panels in the desired direction to achieve a level finish. Tighten together once in position to fasten in place using the short head on the Allen key in the vise and long end to attain leverage when tightening together. The bottom grub screws securely lock both side friction bars into place and provide overall rigidity. Plumb up the two end panels first. Attach a string line from one end to the other at the top of the glass panels. Next, align the glass panels to the string line. This can be done by lifting and inserting the necessary number of packers under the glass in the glass vise or remove packers if glass is too high. Once the tops of the end glass panels line up with the string line, the rest of the panels can be plumbed up with regard to the string line. Use a translucent silicon with the mini cover plates to conceal the grub screw holes as well as on the holes for the American bases. For laminated glass panels, attach H-clamps between panels or for toughened safety glass, apply the slimline low-profile nano rail. 